Do you like Phasmophobia? Yeah! Do you think that this game is getting boring? Do you want to shit your pants? Well, oh boy, do I have the game for you. Demonologist. This game is a perfect mixture between Phasmophobia and, and an actual horror game. Other developers have decided to jump on the idea of a ghost hunting game. And the people at Clock Wizard Games have done just that with their brand new game, Demonologist. Now, this game is just Phasmophobia on crack. But what makes it so zooted on that Zaza? Well, not much at first glance. The goal is the same as Phasmophobia, where you and up to four people enter a house haunted by a ghost with it being your job to figure out what type of ghost it is. But now, you have the ability to do more objectives within the house that lead up to an exorcism. This exorcism often requires some sort of ritual that will then remove the ghost from the house, netting you more money and experience when you go back to your main hub. I wasn't joking here when I said it was the same. It's literally just the game, but with exorcism. But where this game starts to truly differ is in everything surrounding this goal, creating a completely different and in my opinion better experience. For starters, the tools used in this game are almost the exact same as Phasmophobia and work in the same ways, but in my opinion have more fun designs and have two tools that are unique to this game that helps it. One is... Well, I, I don't know what this is actually. It doesn't exactly work, but the developer said they'll fix it, so we have to wait. But the other one reveals ectoplasm and writing on the walls. It's not much. It does add some variation to the game, and it makes it a bit different. But what has completely changed, though, is how phasmophobia is just not scary. Whereas in Demonologist, every step I take is another three years taken off my life due to pure anxiety. The footage you are seeing is of me and my friends trying out the free demo for the first time from over a week ago. My friends and I were screaming way more often than Phasmophobia due to how scary this game can actually be. It takes Phasmophobia's scary level of 2 and cranks it up to Outlast coming back zoinked from a rave party. Just take a look for yourself. It, this is showing right in front of- Wait, I'm pretty sure that's the haunted- <laughs> Oh, Jesus, you see that? Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, it's quite spoopy compared to Phasmophobia, with a lot more things that the ghost can do to you and your team. The ghost can give you both visual and auditory hallucinations, which happen really fast and catch you off guard. Give us a sign. Are you here? Oh, I heard something. That was- wait, 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 we all heard something, right? Or, the ghost can straight up reveal itself and chase you down, but not to kill you, just to scare you. All of this spoopiness is then enhanced through the incredibly well done voice recognition. Much like Phasmophobia, voice recognition is used to talk to the ghost, but in this game, your voice has more uses. You can read words on the walls or on the paintings and have them react in different ways. The ghost will also use your voice to see if it wants to attack you for what you say. For example, some ghosts will hate it when you swear, while some simply don't care. The ghost will also be triggered if if you say its name too often, and it is quite harsh in this game. The second I said its name, we immediately entered the hunt phase where the ghost literally just killed me. I, I, I had no chance. And you know what's so cool about this game's maps? Each map completely changes the game. It changes objectives, what is able to be interacted with, and obviously the building itself. It's just a bunch of things that make each map an almost completely different game with different things to do. This is on another level than Phasmophobia, where in that game the maps didn't really change anything besides the actual building that you're playing in. Now, albeit that Demonologist is just Phasmophobia on crack, it isn't perfect and has room for improvements and issues that can be worked on. For the extremely small chance that a developer is watching, please just hear me out. One thing is that sanity depletes over time as you see the ghost and the events that follow, going from 100 sanity to 0. This is all good, but sanity controls everything and it seems that the ghost gets way more aggressive when sanity hits the halfway mark at 50, and dare I say, makes it too aggressive. Maybe if the devs were to make it more of a gradual digression into insanity with more events happening as you go from 100 to 80, 80 to 60, 60 to 40, and so on, instead of just having a massive dip at 50, it would be much more manageable this way, but until then it is quite aggressive and can get in the way. Another thing is when you are in the hunt phase, where all you can do is just run. There are no places to hide, it is basically run from the ghost and pray you don't get caught. I think how this game can improve the hunting phases is by allowing just a few places to hide, like under beds or in closets, things like that, as once you enter the hunting phase, it is at times impossible to survive in its current state, making the game at times unfun. 
Another issue is how currently, those who own Phasmophobia have basically experienced all this game has to offer gameplay-wise. Of course, not including the horror factor and some other things. This is because the game has almost the exact same tools as Phasmophobia, so adding a few new tools can help shake up the game and give people a reason to buy this one instead or alongside of Phasmophobia. But until then, this ends up being just a scarier and more interactive version of Phasmophobia that may not be worth the entry cost. And if you haven't noticed from the 17 times that I said the word Phasmophobia, now 18, this game is a lot like Phasmophobia, and that's not a bad thing. Phasmophobia is a great game that I thoroughly enjoy, but always felt that the fear factor was removed after the first round that you played. And I can safely say that the biggest and most important change from Phasmophobia to Demonologist is that it is actually scary. One of the biggest reasons as to why I forced my friends to play this game was because I heard and saw that it was pants shitting worthy, and I'm happy that it lived up to that, all while being a mere $15. That's pretty good, especially if you haven't played Phasmophobia phobia before. So would I recommend this game? Absolutely, once they address these few issues that they have. And of course, this is still in early access and was just released. For an early access title, this feels way too polished and well, too good. Phasmophobia woke up one day and decided to do cocaina and ended up like this. And I have to say, Clock Wizard Games did one hell of a job creating a heavily inspired game, but made it better in almost every way. If you liked Phasmophobia, then you will definitely love the crackfest that is Demonologist.